Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of The Art of Digital Networking. In this episode, we're going to dive into Facebook as one of the main channels we're going to use to build up our online network as professionals. So you could use Facebook to connect with local professionals in your community or professionals from all around the world in your industry. Uh, before I like share my screen and go through this checklist that I'll have for you, let me just talk about the core features that really make Facebook such a powerful social media networking platform. So you've got your profile, right? Consider your profile as a free landing pitch, a free opportunity to advertise yourself, right? You've got the opportunity to make new friends and connect with people and use Facebook to search for folks that match the criteria who you're trying to network with. And then you can message them. You can network in the context of Facebook groups where people have similar interests. You can create a Facebook page and advertise through them. And then you can even use Facebook's audience insight tool to learn more about the folks that are active on Facebook or following a certain page or meeting a certain criteria that you just want to learn about. So without further ado, let me share my screen, show you this quick checklist that I, I have for you, uh, that I'd love for you guys to, to work with. So here it is. Here's my uh, short Facebook profile optimization checklist. You know, we want to have a thoughtful profile picture. We want to have a custom cover photo, a great bio, taking folks to the links we want to use, some featured photos that help tell our story. You know, we want to be thoughtful about our about page. We want to be thoughtful about the groups we're a part of. And then my challenge to you is that you go ahead and reconnect with at least two friends on Facebook uh, and, you know, just spark a dialogue and figure out where they're at in life and where they're working and all of that. Um, so let's just dive in. Uh, you know, we'll go through each of these items. All right. So first thing, uh, let's, let's look at the Facebook profiles. And I've actually got a couple of Facebook profiles up here, some examples. Uh, the first one is uh, Dan Henry. Um, and Dan Henry is a Facebook advertiser. He's, you know, built a $10 million plus business through digital marketing and digital networking. Um, so let's just talk about the cool things about his profiles. First off, uh, cover photo with him on stage, badass. Now, why is that important? Because it, it builds trust. It shows, hey, you know, I'm an authority in my space because I've been on stage. You know, I, he's at the Funnel Hacking Live for this year. I've been on stage and I got to talk to people about what I'm an expert at, right? So that's what that cover photo tells you. You know, profile picture, kept it simple. That's cool. And then bio, one liner of like, this is what I do, you know, and then a call to action. All right. Consider this again. This is a landing page, free landing page by Facebook for you to network. And so now we go into the bio. You can see Dan chose to put in a bunch of links into his bio, drive people specifically to a spot. Look at that. I think that even says that like it's tracking. He's pretty much tracking that if people clicked on this link and, and converted through this page, it came from his Facebook bio. He knows that, right? So <laughs> obviously this is an effective way of doing it. And then his photos, you know, maybe these are random, maybe not. Uh, but what I hear folks do and what I do myself is be intentional about the photos that go here because they tell a story, you know, the book that he wrote. Um, and you, if you click on any of these, there's probably some content in the about story, right? So the point is your Facebook profile is a landing page that you can optimize the different elements in it. Majeski Arni uh, runs a pretty popular Facebook group. I'm actually going to talk about his Facebook group here in a second. Again, custom pro, uh, cover photo uh, with a call to action to go download this uh, this free ebook, right? So go to his website. You know, this is, uh, you know, again, he's using this space uh, for the call to action. You know, he's a Facebook groups expert. That's what he does. And then again, everything with Arnie in this case, you know, pretty much went to go get my ebook. You know, treating it as a funnel with one call to action, one main thing, go get my ebook, right? And, and then photos are testimonials here. So that's pretty cool. All right, and then here's uh, my example, and, and mine's gonna keep changing, especially after I launch this course. Uh, but, you know, cover photo, I've got my books on here, you know, a little bit about what I do, more about what I do, uh, and then, you know, a link. Again, some of this stuff's gonna be changing uh, since this is new, but the point is, this is a landing page. Now it's like, okay, well, okay, why? Why are you telling me this? Because if you don't know how to advertise, if you are, you know, if you don't have a budget, let me rephrase, if you don't have a budget to advertise, uh, then Facebook is a place where you can advertise for free. Here's your free landing page, optimize your profile. And now, and, and if you need help creating this cover photo, I'll show you how easy it is. You know, just go to canva.com, you create a free account, click create a design, 
search the Facebook cover, you know, I typed in cover, right? So if I just say, hey, you know, Canva, give me a Facebook cover. Let's open that up. And while this thing is loading, you know, we're gonna, I'll show you, there, there's got some templates in here that you could just go ahead and run pretty quickly with a Facebook cover that's custom for you. So you can pretty much just run with any of their templates. You know, if I say marketing, let's see if it comes up, boom, bunch of different ones, you know, maybe, maybe you're in real estate, you know, and you got some other cover photos that you might be able to run with. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're a chef, right? And you wanna, you wanna do that, right? So you could put in a cover photo, go get my, uh, free ebook on a recipe or go watch my YouTube channel of YouTube videos uh, on how to cook great food. All right. So making a cover photo, super easy in this drag and drop system with, with a bunch of templates that you can use, upload photos. You can use tons of different, different elements. Canvas is great. Now, going back to my point about the organic marketing, Facebook is a free source for marketing. This is your landing page and you can go into Facebook and you can join Facebook groups that are relevant. So if you're in business, you wanna network with business folks, go to Facebook groups, search business, join these groups. You know, join the conversations that are happening here and provide value. And the cool thing is uh, when you're in the right Facebook group, let's see, let's find an example of somebody who probably did a really good job with this. This is the millennial entrepreneur community that Arnie put together, 80,000 members, right? So let's go in here. And uh, let's just try to find a post. All right, so we got this post. One cool thing or one important thing for Facebook groups, read the rules. You know, make sure you go into the about page and read the rules, make sure you're following the rules, otherwise you get kicked out. So you read the rules, so you know what you're allowed to post. Look at this guy, uh, Schuler. Schuler. Uh, what he posted, he posted something cool. I guess he got two likes, but check this out. Let's see what Schuler's doing on his profile picture or his profile. You know, that he's essentially, advertising himself for free by posting content here. And if people want to learn more about him, they're going to click on his profile and you can see he's got his custom cover photo here telling people exactly what he does. You know, and if I clicked on this, it might have a link, you know, let's see, you know, he's got more about like what he does, you know, and there's a link, right? So, you know, this is a funnel. This is a, this is, if you, if you don't have advertising dollars, this is a free way for you to advertise. Uh, you just got to not be spam, but you got to be intentional. Um, make sure you're delivering value and follow all the rules that I've been talking about throughout this course. Okay. So Facebook groups, really powerful. Facebook pages, also powerful. You can create a free Facebook page and, um, you know, Facebook pages don't get the organic reach that they used to. Uh, but the benefit of using a Facebook page is you could run ads on the Facebook page. So um, if you are creating content, you can promote that content, throw some ad dollars behind it so more people see it. Um, and then you could even run in a messenger bot. Um, I will, you know, when it start here, get your organic stuff working first, especially if you're still figuring out what business you're running. Uh, but if you already have a business and you've already got transactions and you've already made organic work, then go ahead and create that Facebook page, set up that bot, run some ads, you're gonna take it much further. Um, Facebook page, you just come to facebook.com pages, create a new page. It's pretty straightforward, I'm not gonna dive into it, but if you get stuck or if you have any questions, feel free to ping us, we are here to help. All right, last thing I wanna show you that's really cool about Facebook, you know, you got the Facebook ads manager, which gives you access to analytics. And uh, even if you aren't in a position to start running, uh, start running Facebook ads, then here's what you can do. You can go into Facebook ads audience insights, right? So go to this URL here and you'll be able to do research on your target customer. So if I wanna look up everybody on Facebook, just say everybody on Facebook in the United States, if I want me to be more specific and I want to say, hey, I'm looking in Las Vegas, not New Mexico. I want in Las Vegas, Nevada. If I wanted to look at people that are in Las Vegas, Nevada, you know, I would type that in. You know, if I wanted to say, hey, well, you know, I'm advertising to folks that are uh, 21 plus, they got to be 21 plus, uh, but they're probably not that old. So I'm going to say uh, 21 to let's just say 21 to 40, let's say I'm trying to focus on men, right? Now I can kind of go in here and I can say, okay, well, 53% of men that are on Facebook in Vegas are single, okay, 18 to, or 21 to 40, right? This is their education level, you know, it looks like, uh, 
<clears throat> oh yeah, 44% are single, you know, and 53% is more likely to be in this group compared to face to general Facebook users. Okay. All right. That's fine. All right. We could see what their job title is. So we're seeing like military, you know, we can compare this across other things. What are we comparing this against? Looks like we're comparing this against all other people on Facebook. Uh, you can even take this further. You can see like what pages are people liking on Facebook. So men 21 to 40 on Facebook are liking uh, the best deal in town Facebook page. They're liking the Nellis auction page. Dirt dog restaurant. You might find them there. So this is really great stuff to just learn about uh, your audience uh, when you're trying to figure out who to target. You can go much deeper here as well. Anyways, folks, I hope that was helpful. That's my crash course on how to use Facebook as a digital networking tool, or at least how to optimize your Facebook page. That was it, you know, that was just to be the, the surface uh, so for optimizing your Facebook page. Once you've got an optimized Facebook page, the next couple of things you wanna do is pretty much start joining Facebook groups that uh, match up with the interests you're looking for. And, you know, so if you started, if you're networking for the sake of business, start a Facebook group or I mean, join Facebook groups uh, that are related to business and listen to what people have to say in there, comment, like, um, listen to the rules before you start posting. And then um, as long as you've optimized your pro profile, you can start networking with people and build up your personal brand. All right. So folks, go ahead and crush this. I will see you in the next video where I talk about LinkedIn, uh, the other channel that we're going to be using to build up our networks.